Verve, online devotional videos. All of my life, I've grown up in the church. And I've watched different people come and go, you know, those who are interest, introduced to faith and they find Christ and they begin to a life transforming journey. And then others who have found Christ and ultimately end up drifting away from what they were at one time so passionate about. As we journey through 1 Timothy, today we're going to stop on chapter 4. And the chapter starts out with Paul explaining that there will be people of faith who will depart from it and turn from God. After this, Paul begins to encourage Timothy, have nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths. Rather, train yourself for godliness. Now, when I think of irreverent, silly myths today, my mind goes towards the cultural shifts that we've watched and how we can so easily become persuaded to accept what society offers to us rather than what we know is godly. So how do we maintain godly character and not get caught up in all of the other stuff that we see? Well, as this passage says, we need to train. We need to consistently expose ourselves to that which is godly. Think of it this way, the shape of you is determined by what influences you the most. I'll leave you with this question, what are you doing to train yourself for godliness? Because if we're not training ourselves in godliness, we're pretty much guaranteed to become spiritual couch potatoes. And that leaves us susceptible to the irreverent and silly myths that are all around us. You know, I hope you have a great day. And remember this, that training for godliness will always benefit the shape of you. If you're joining with us as we're walking through 1st and 2nd Timothy, next time we're going to look at Timothy, 1st Timothy chapter 5. So make sure you read ahead and we'll see you then. Verve, devotional videos to your inbox.